Alrighty, so I've uh, more or less, I think I've set up um, just about the beginning there for the Battle of Luz. Um, f and I th I didn't go and take a look at the order, like uh, the order of battle and what the setup was for the uh, the armies and all that. Sorry if there's a glare, I'll try to not get it. Um, so all it said for the Germans here is that I had to um, put all, um, I was not allowed to stack and that um, I had to have uh, at least um, every um, hex in the front uh, British front line had to have an enemy zone of control. So uh, I more or less did that. And then what I'm trying to do for the Germans, because I, I, I haven't even read, read the rules. I've played uh, the modified fire and movement. So we'll see how this goes with this one, because they even modify them for each World War I game, I've, I'm starting to notice. but. So what I decided to do was I'm going to try to protect, I, I have to leave gaps, I have no choice, I uh, just don't have enough counters, so I, I decided to kind of like leave gaps where it seems to be pretty far to get to the second line for the, uh, for the British, I'm hoping, and I wanted to keep uh, good places like hills and whatnot, and I'm not sure, but I'm, I've played these games before, like I've said, and when I saw the little uh, iron crosses, I was like, okay, odds are that's where the reinforcement spots are going to be. So uh, I was like, okay, let's um, pop a hole or a couple of holes uh, where I'm hoping I'm going to get some reinforcements so I can at least, uh, you know, at first maybe I'm going to take a pounding by the Brits, but then um, uh, I can, you know, hopefully plug that hole up. We'll see. I don't know. Hold on here. Let's see if I can uh, move the lazy general without having to move my camera. Okay, so. And then, yet again, I didn't take a look at uh, where the the Brits are supposed to be positioned and all that stuff. I've just been reading up and, and watching uh, some stuff, which has been pretty darn good to do. So I think that's something like that. Uh, yeah, I think so. I um, mumbled up the, uh, the, the, the counter. I'll just deal with it later. So here I had to put a full division in each sector. You can see like one to um, one to six here, and yet again I don't have a full amount. So what I try to do, well, obviously the Brits get to put uh, to find out uh, how the Germans were set up. So I thought, okay, great, I'm going to uh, try and put my best troops, which are these nine nines. I don't know if you guys know anything about. So the very left is attack, the middle one is defense, and the very uh, right one is uh, movement. So I was like, okay, I'm going to put the best of the best uh, where the holes are and see if I can nail that. I mean, if it is, if it is called the Battle of Lewis, I might as well go towards it, towards it for crying out loud. Um, and then what I'm sorry, but this is the way I'm looking at it as from a general point of view. They're still good. My goodness, look at how good the troops are. I'm putting uh, the weakest, if you want to call it that, as a holding box or a holding whatever. And I mean, if they make progress uh, in the center, fine. If they don't. Well, that's the way it goes. And then uh, I, I, here as well. And then I don't know if you can notice, but I did, I'm did. i allowed to stack. Uh, as long as there I pair up uh, the, uh, the brigades. Uh, so if you see here, like uh, there, so it's 19A, 19B, whatever. So I, I kind of like peer, popped up in spots where I'd like to try to make some kind of concentrated attack. That's it. And uh, yeah, that's kind of neat. All right, see you later. Hope you're having a good one.